What's up guys, it's Geeks Corner here and today we're going to be looking at the IKEA Trad Free Gateway. Now I purchased yesterday the bulb and I also purchased the hub but I didn't realize that you also needed the gateway as well. I didn't research enough of this so I had to go and get the gateway which I have in my hand here and obviously you do need to put in the battery that comes with it first of all. It's got a nice little magnetic plate as well and once you pop that battery in there you're going to then open the app in the phone and you're going to go along with the settings. Now yesterday I set up the bridge without uh, actually recording it so uh, that was a little bit complicated basically because uh, it wouldn't find the code when I was scanning it. I had to actually put it in manually and then it worked straight away. So just be aware of that. Um, I did a bit of research into this and they did say that it was a little bit difficult to get these up and running. So you do need to have patience. So if you've only got like a quick couple of minutes on there, it's not going to work. So you do need to give yourself plenty of time to do this. Now the instruction here says that I need to hold this button in uh, for about four seconds and there's going to be a light flashing. So I've looked through it. Um, I can't seem to get it to work on there, so we're going to give that another try again. Okay, so it's been a couple of minutes now since I've been fiddling around with this, and the light is actually on the front, not the back part on there, so there's a bit of a, an error on there, and as I'm holding it in now, the light's just gone red here, um, but I don't think the camera actually picked it up, unfortunately. Um, but there we go, so there's the red light, and that's showing now that it's actually pairing, and as you'll see in just a second on the application, you can now see it's actually pairing that device up. So you just need to be aware that the light is actually on the front, not the back. There's a little mark on there I thought may have possibly been a small light, uh, but it is in fact this red light on here. And there we go. It's now just paired up. And then we're going to move on to the actual bulb process itself. Okay, so we're moving on now to pairing the bulbs. So make sure that your light is switched on and then choose the control which we just paired. So we just need to make sure you select the correct one. So that's the middle one here. And then you're going to connect it to your light. And again, you're going to press the button. Now, I've only just gone on the actual device recording of the screen here rather than trying to show you the bulb. Uh, you just need to hold it in for a couple of seconds for the light to start to flash and dim. And there we go, it's now found the device, so it's just finishing a pair in there. And that's it, the bulb is found, so we're going to click on rename, and we're going to rename that to lamp. Obviously you can go in, I'm assuming, and rename it later on, uh, but we may as well just go ahead and do this now as well. And we're going to change this, this is going to be in the living room, so we'll just change that and add in living room. And it shows you then, obviously, that both are in the living room. Uh, it tells you then that we've got blinds, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And then a required update. So we're going to leave that, do an update on the device a second. And we're just going to have a look through the settings there whilst that's updating. Uh, obviously, you've got your different moods. You can switch it off. You can switch it on. And obviously, you've got a little slider there to adjust the brightness as well. So you've got your managed devices, your two devices we've got in there. Uh, we're showing you what we've got updated. So you've got your gateway, your bulb, and your remote control. So obviously it says that the remote control is waiting in an update, so we'll leave that carry on. Obviously you've got your language, so you can change your language options. So we're going to leave that as default at the moment. And then we're just going to go in and have a look. You can obviously add it to your Amazon Alexa, your Google Home, or your HomeKit, which is why I wanted to buy this, because uh, in the past I've had Amazon Echoes around the house. I've actually got rid of those, but I do still uh, use the Apple HomeKit primarily. But I also do have quite a few Google devices around the house uh, just because it just integrates really around the house quite well. Uh, and they obviously are a lot cheaper as well. Now it says in here that we need to uh, add on the home kit and it says that the code is in the box. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. I've actually looked around for a couple of minutes. Uh, I've actually done a quick Google as well. And a lot of YouTube videos show that once you go in here, it actually gives you the code in the application. Now, as you can see, it's telling me that it's actually on the packaging, uh, but it's not actually the case. I give it a couple of minutes, and then I went into the actual HomeKit app itself. And as you can see, it's not in there at the moment, but uh, I've gone through the whole process of trying to add it in um, and nothing at all. So I couldn't actually scan a code. I couldn't put anything in, but when I went back into the home, it all, all of a sudden came 
onto the device. So just to be aware of that, if it doesn't give you the HomeKit code, just give it a couple of minutes, go back in, and you should see that it's actually been added. As you can see now, I didn't add any codes or anything like that. And I've tried using Siri as well to control the light, and it actually works. Now, I haven't tried the Google Home yet. That's going to be saved for another video, and I'll actually do that testing as well. But I just want to get it up and running on the HomeKit side, and it does actually work. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.